welcome to this video and it would be a very short and brief discussion on how we can make C++ files run smoothly on Xcode. Basically it would be a just a beginner's, uh, uh, beginner's tutorial. So actually I found that Xcode is the best option for Macs we can use for C++. There might be many but I found out that Xcode is the best platform we can have on Mac. And eventually when I started using Xcode, I found a lot of difficulty because I could not understand how to execute the programs over there because it was a bit distinct from what I used previously because I was used to uh, Python and PyCharm, but uh, eventually a set of uh, C++ was introduced to us and it became very difficult for me to compile the program. So I found uh, a lot of difficulties, but I thought I should be sharing how I come up with those difficulty you might find it silly that uh, I was not I was not knowing these things but I think uh, if you know this then you are feel free to skip this video but if you don't know the tutorials then I would definitely recommend you to watch this fully so let's start it so this is the Xcode so you need to install it from the App Store so after installing it so this would be the window you can just go for create a new xcode project and over here you will get multi-platform ios mac os watch os whatever you are planning to do and in if you're doing if you're going to do uh, some simple basic programs in c then you should go in mac os and then command line and then print click next so in the product name you can write anything a great uh, example example to. and this is the my class see it is an organization identifier it would be just written uh, before the class you can see so here in the language you can find there are four languages and by default there would swift um, by default but you need to change it to c plus plus and then we'll click next so in next uh, we need to make a folder where our stuffs will be stored so i'm going to I'm, i'll go on the desktop i'll make a new folder and i'll name it uh, example number two so i'll create it and you can see it's example number two is created over here here you can see it and then we'll click create see it's created we'll go in the full screen mode so no other information was supplied by the version control system. So this you if you want then you can provide the information but I don't find it very necessary right now. So I'll click cancel and then I'll do it full screen. So here we have created example number two. So this is our project example two and inside this this is our folder and this is the file of main.cpp. So if you click command plus b then what it will do it will build the code build successfully and if we'll click command plus r then it will run the code so it's been built successfully you can see the hello world would be printed over here so see here it is hello world is printed we can see it but uh, the next thing what happens is uh, when we'll create uh, click command plus n a new file option will be appearing and we'll press c++ file next and then we'll write the name number two and we'll click next so it will ask for the location then again you can specify any of the location what you want and then see we can see here that two cpp is being created but what i noted is if i am getting one more int block in that means let me just copy this command c and then if I'm going to paste it command V here then we can find that there is a main in this file also and there is a main in this file also now if when I'm going to click command plus B it will show build failed so why is it so so if you can uh, see this messages here duplication of symbol C duplication symbol for architecture x86 underscore 64 so this is what i found again and again and but uh, see what should i uh, what can we do to overcome this here is the option we'll go to we'll click the project example number two 
and here in the build phase we can find compile source see basically this uh, error occurs when there are more than two mains so compiler gets confused which main they have to execute so uh, now we want to compile the two dot cpp so we are going to uh, click this and then click the minus sign so it will be minused and then if we are going here and then again we are pressing command plus b then it will do build success and then if we are doing command plus r then again it will print hello world see it's done and this is a hpp uh, dot hpp uh, someone might be feeling. so it is a header folder i don't know what it is used for but eventually i'll learn what it is and if you know then you can also tell me so now if there might be question arising that if we want to again run this main then what should we do again go here and then you minus this and if you click on plus then you'll find it here main cpp then it again go in main cpp command plus b build succeeded command plus r it will run see here it is now if i want to make one more folder inside this i should talk about a bit of uh, what is hpp so right now i don't know what is uh, hpp folder it is a header folder and while the creation of a new page so if i'm clicking command plus n so here it is uh, for your new file so in c plus plus when i'll go to next so here it is asking also create a header folder so we have to just remove the tick from here and then write number three and then next so specify the position so now we can see that we are not getting a header folder so it's not required for me so i'm not creating any header folder when i'll uh, know what it is then i may get it so now i want to make folders like this see i have got example number two folder and inside that i have got some files each having some or the other programs so in case if i want to write an array program okay i want to uh, write uh, many programs related to arrays and i just want to accumulate them in one target so that would be called target folder so now i'll tell you how you can create a target folder like this so if we have to go to the file and then new in this file there will be new in new you can see the target so when you will click target then you'll get this window open so here also you um, the same thing you'll have to choose the mac os then you can scroll downward and you can find a command line to then again click next so you have to write the name of the target so i'll be doing all the programs related to arrays in this so i'll be naming it array and again choose the language uh, this is the project and everything i have said before also okay i'll write array 2 finish so here is my array to create it and it has got its own main.cpp file okay so um, now i can execute this command b plus command r so it will run now so it um, it um, very simplifies the way we want to organize our file so uh, that's why these targets are very good if you're making a project and inside that you're making two to three targets so uh, if you have any suggestions regarding these things or if you have uh, some other alternative then you can please let me know and uh, if you like the video uh, then stay tuned i'll be posting some more whenever i learn new things i'll be posting it thanks for watching